Hey everyone, Luis here. Today it's time to do the review of this printer here that was kindly sent to me by a Creality for the review purposes. And it's the Halot Light, um, the new medium-sized printer from, from Creality. And I will try to cover all aspects of this, this printer for you uh, guys to, to understand if it's a uh, uh, the printer for you and just a disclaimer this printer is isn't already uh, in the market it's totally brand new they just sent for a few selected people where i was uh, one of those those people that they sent this printer to test and i'm here to to do the review after a week of intense uh, use as you can see here a lot of of prints that i've done with it with different size and I will give my verdict about it, okay? So, uh, before we start, if you did not subscribe yet, please consider to subscribe and leave your like and also your comment if you have anything to share with the community, okay? Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, uh, the first thing I would like to talk about this printer is the specs of the print of the printer, and this is basically a 8.9 screen printer with a 4K screen, which gives uh, this printer a, a resolution of uh, 50 microns on the X Y. Uh, it's a pretty decent uh, build size with 192 per 120 to per uh, 200 millimeters of uh, build build area so it gives uh, you, you can print a lot of stuff as i will show here some pictures for you guys to check the the build plate that uh, some of the build plates that i've i've printed with it and i did not have any problem uh, print with uh, this printer and uh, both with uh, full build plates or not that full build plate, so it worked uh, fine uh, in both cases, okay? Uh, this printer has uh, Wi-Fi uh, the capability, so you can send the, the prints, the files directly from your PC to the, to the printer. Uh, and also it comes with what the, the new integral light of, of Creality, is the, their new uh, technology of, of light. I will talk a little bit in details uh, in the, the next uh, minutes about this specific, specific integral light, okay? So the next thing, thing I would like to talk about it is the differences between this printer and the uh, Creality Hallowed Sky. A lot of people ask about, about that. And th both printers are from the same company, both printers are from Creality and it's the sky came first i have this printer too and i will talk a little bit about the difference between one and the other okay the first difference is the i will the, the cover the cover of the, the this printer is a lift cover as you can see here you just uh, take out the cover and you can get access to the printer i know a lot of people that prefer this this type of cover and others prefer the way that the sky is which is a, a hinge cover a lift cover again showing pictures here for you to see and the second difference is the uh, this printer comes with a single rail the sky comes with a dual linear rail um, it did not affect the print the print quality of this printer as you can see here the it uh, even with one single rail it printed just fine perfect with everything fine uh, the other difference is the the rod the screw rod here is not ball screw as in the case of the the sky this one is a t rod a common rod that we have in most of the the printers again it not had any any major uh, difference uh, on that 
Another difference is the, the body of this printer is plastic, the other is, uh, this guy is uh, metal or aluminum, this one is, is plastic. Again, no big deal. Uh, this printer is beautiful, <laughs> as you can see, this black piano, piano finish. Uh, the, the, the finish of the, the, the build quality is, is pretty nice, it works perfect for, for this printer, so no problem with that. Um, another difference is that the touch screen is horizontal instead of the uh, vertical uh, position of the, the sky. I prefer the, this one instead of the, the, the vertical, so it's a, I think it was a good call to change the, the, this screen for, for this position. Um, another difference is on the integral light, uh, and both, both have, integral, have integral light uh, inside here, but this printer has a capability of uh, 3000 to 3800 micro, micro watts of potency. Uh, or 80% of uniformity in the sky is 4,000 of uh, micro per micro uh, watts, and it's 90% of uniformity. Again, I did not felt any difference printing <laughs> with the sky and this one. Both print greatly and and beautiful with with this this light source. Okay. Another difference that this printer uh, has comparing with the Sky is the, the speed, the print speed, okay? The Sky can print up to 8 millimeters per second, I think it's per second, I think that's it. Uh, the, this one, the maximum that I can set here on the screen is 3 millimeters, so it's a little bit slower than the Sky but it's not a big deal, it, it, it prints fine, and no, no, no big deal for that, okay? Uh, things that I prefer on this one, okay? The first one is the, the VAT, and again, I will show here quickly, but I will put a, a picture for you to see. This one came with this uh, recess here to, to pull the resin. I think it's, it's better than in the case of the, the Halox Sky. Uh, so it's a, a better design, in my opinion, okay, than the other. Uh, another thing is the cooling system of this printer. I think it's more efficient. The Sky tends to uh, become really hot during the print. The, the printing process and this one I saw some uh, schematics on Creolit uh, website and they have the cooling system and also the filtration on, on this printer is better because they have a, a, a fan uh, below the, the carbon filter and also I think they, they have the, what they call dual uh, cooling system or anything like that in, in, in practice, they have two, two, two coolers to help to refrigerate and filter the, the fumes on, on the printer. So on this one, I think it's, it's better than on the sky, okay? I opened the sky to see the insides and I see that there's only one on below the printer. So to get all the, the, the heat and fumes and, and things like that. So I think it's, it's better on this one. And another, and the third thing is that the build plate of this one is is lighter than the one from the sky. The sky has is a little bit more bulky than this one. Again, showing pictures, and you can see the difference, and that makes this build plate a little bit lighter than the the one from the sky. Okay, and that's it. I think that's the dif the the major difference between one printer and the other. Uh, of course the price too, I don't know the price of this one, but I'm sure it will not cost the same that the Sky, the Sky is around a thousand dollars, this one I believe it will be around 500 or something like that, so I think what they've done to reduce the, the cost, I think uh, it not affected the, the print quality or the, the 
way the printer uh, works and the results it delivers. So it's it's basically that. So uh, in terms of print quality, I think that's the majority of uh, you are here for that, right? To see the results of the printer. As you can see here, I printed a lot with it, both uh, bigger prints and smaller prints like this one. My first print was this uh, Eiffel Tower and this Eiffel Tower came with the, the USB stick uh, of the printer. So it printed beautifully. Uh, you can see the minimal like supports here of the tower all printed really really well and then I started to print bigger things as you can see here some uh, loot models or trivial models and I also tried a very very small skeleton that I printed from uh, it's from loot this one and it printed really really nice and one thing that I really like about this printer is the precision uh, and I'm not a big fan of print multiple multi part uh, prints okay in general I prefer to print one piece and then at once and do not worry about uh, saying uh, the pieces to, to get together and things like that but in case of this printer, it works amazing. I, this piece here, this, this dyno here from Activillion, it has 11 pieces and I did not have to send or to worry about uh, the pieces to do not, get, do not get together because everything just fitted perfectly fine. And here are some really small uh, lizard guys here. Uh, that are part of this printer, this print. Also this guy here, the, the wear beast, if I'm not wrong, yeah. is the wear beast from uh, Loot Studios. It, were, it also is a one, two, three, four, four part, four part print and it all just fitted together. I, I made a video that me uh, putting this guy together and you can see that it just work it perfectly fine i will leave you here with some of the pictures of the of the prints that i've done with high high res uh, photos for you to see the details and see that everything just printed perfectly i did not have any fail with this printer the fail that i had was because i was trying to do some experiments with resin and i've on some mixing that <laughs> did not work very well but when I, I'm working with the the proper uh, settings and everything it works really really fine
Okay, uh, things that I think need some improvement and I will try to not repeat myself here because I already done the, the review of the sky and some of those things that need improvement are on this review. If you want to check, uh, just click here. But uh, it's basically one of the things is the, the software. Again, I think they need to improve that and I believe they are going to improve because they, w they are planning to launch a new firmware for this printer, which will uh, give us the possibility to set the, the settings directly on the slicer instead of here on the printer. I prefer that. I, I explain that more in details on my review of the sky, but basically uh, it's difficult to, to change the settings here on the screen, okay? Another thing is the, the pause feature. Uh, it's also software related. Uh, if you pause the print, you can, it, it not raise the, the build plate for you to see if, if the print is fine or if it's, it worked or if you need to, to restart, okay? Another thing and also software related is the device binding. Uh, when I bind my device, my, my, the, the printer has this capability, okay? You can, you can bind it to your uh, mobile phone and you can uh, monitor the, the printing during the, the process through the, the Creality Cloud. But this feature is not working for both printers, okay? For Sky or this one, it's not working and it's a, a known bug. They are working to, to uh, solve that problem, okay? But beside those, those things, the, those software related things, the rest, the printer is, is perfect for me. I think it works fine. Uh, it, it, it's on par with, with the Sky, with, with a much more bigger price tag than this one. And it's still, um, this one delivers the very, very similar uh, results or I'm, I'm, I would say equal results as the, the Sky, okay? Okay, final thoughts is that uh, it's a great printer. I think you will not, it's a big contender for the other brands. Uh, an interesting printer that with a decent build, build volume, with print quality, with superb print quality, with uh, reliability, it, I did not have fails with it, basically. And I think with a good price, we, when it, 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 they announce it, you are not going to regret to, to have this printer. I think it's a, a great addition to any, anyone that uh, would like to have beautiful minis or print anything with precision, with uh, like with quality, with reliability, so go for it. It's it's a, a great printer. I really really recommend it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.